What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the first ever in the world. The first ever corset cube draft for me. Maybe not for those other maybe not for those other jabronis, but it's the first one for me. So we'll see how this goes. William, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Came for the magic, stayed for the Michael Modal <laughs> memes. Well, that's good, because I feel like there's uh they're plentiful. They are plentiful plenty full This is a down payment for one Thrag Tusky boy. All right, we'll see. Did Corset just go up, or why is there no... Yeah, it just went up today. Uh, I actually hope this fires relatively soon. I want to donate seven subs in honor of N7 Day, and my 300 research number, if you see a comment, you think she's going to give stuff, let me know. Uh, I'm not going to be paying too close of attention, because I'll be doing the, the cubing, which is uh, not surprising that you are here, buddy. Um, what's N7 day? I feel weird because I don't know what that is. Also, congrats on three years though, Chad. Tell Amber I said congrats too. You guys are both great people. And I like you both. Guys, I'm so annoyed. I have this dry cleaning company that I use regularly. that has lost like 300 worth of my clothes. Now I have to buy new clothes and find a new... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mass Effect day. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. I don't know what to expect in this cube. But, uh... Equilibrium. Whenever you cast a creature, you may pay one if you do return a target creature to the owner's hand. That's Thank actually you. pretty good. Pronunciation for dummies. Welcome back. Thank you so much for the nine months. Really appreciate it. City of Brass. Platinum Angel seems pretty broken. Um, he lets Pilgrim, Search Pilgrim Searching for Auras is pretty okay. Also, we were in the same draft pot last night. It went, well, 3-0. Uh, mine went 1-2, so... Cannot claim the same. I'm pretty sure it's Angel, and then you just hope for, like, Lightning Greaves, or... I mean, this is a colorless 4-4 flyer that says you can't lose the game. I think that's pretty much as good as you can get. Equilibrium is also pretty good. It's uh, pretty obnoxious, right? Like, you just pay one extra for your guys and just bounce their things back to their hand. Thankfully, Platinum Angel leaves us just as open as City of Brass does. And also provides us with a pretty resilient win condition. Oh, Demonic Pact. How tempting is that? And a Lily Elmas contract. Quicksilver Amulet. Um, Fiend Slayer Paladin's nice. Grand Abolisher is nice. Oh, Demonic Pact Platinum Angel is pretty sick. I kind of want to just take the Demonic Pact. Maybe Liliana's contract comes back. Pass the pact, get back the contract. Take the pact, get back the contract. Something like that. Something, uh... Right. Yeah, I'm gonna take Demonic Pact. I don't think it's the best card in this pack. Uh, but it is one of my favorite cards. And, uh, you guys are here for the, for the fun times, so... I actually like Sword of the Animus a lot. It basically just searches for a creature. Ray's dead. Uh, I don't have any idea if Pact will. I don't know the strength of this cube, so I think it's a pretty bold claim to say Pact will automatically wheel, especially when we we don't know that. A rupture Spire, Rejuvenator, four damage among any number of targets. It's not terrible. X damage to target creature. If there are two more instant steals. Oh, okay, so it just becomes Searing Blaze. I gotcha. I gotcha. This is the core cube. Core set cube. Correct. Um, you like telling time here? I don't I don't want to force myself into blue-black. I kind of just like sword. Again, it keeps us open and like... Being able to search your library just from the creature attacking. Like, it doesn't have to connect. doesn't have to deal combat damage. doesn't have to kill a thing. 
It's pretty good. Soul of Ravnica. Oh boy. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leon War Leader is also good. Mobilization is also good. Sands of Delirium, huh? This pack is interesting. I think Soul of Ravnica, War Leader, or Sands of Delirium are probably our best options. This is a really interesting cube. Rex Sage is fine. Um, kind of tempted to take the 6-6 six, six flyer, though. Yeah, we'll just go with Soul. That seems fine. Oh, Evacuation. Return all creatures to their owner's hand. That seems pretty good. Also, Ravenous Rats. Rager is fine. Disperse is okay. Genesis Hydra seems nice. We could take this Woodland Stream. Then all of a sudden, we're Sultai again. That's all he ever wants to do. I'm pretty sure it's war. I'm pretty sure it's ex ex evacuation here. I do like disperse because it can bounce the demonic pact though. Um. Yeah, let's take the Disperse. We should probably have some things that... Uh, Daring Apprentice is not terrible. It does counter any spell. Spike Kill Hatchling, Sacrifice... To, uh, and then that's worse. This is just a worse Daring Apprentice for the most part. We also take under Underground River, which is kind of good. I kind of like Underground River here. We're clearly blue-black. I don't know how, how, how many lands that we're going to have the option of having, so this is a good start. I think it's just Liliana Spectre here, and if the Ravenous Rats tables, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, Incident Sorceries cost one less. Why are we looking at it? So, yeah, that's not great. Primarily High just pretty good. But I'm just going to take Spectre. Talent of the Telepath. Four mana target opponent reveals the top seven cards of their library. You may cast an instant or sorcery from among them without paying its cost. That player puts the rest. You may cast up to two. Yeah, that's not great. Quickling is kind of cute. I wish this was return of permanent, then I could bounce my uh, demonic pact. Turn to frog. Not bad. I do kind of like quickling though. Like if we could play like Lily, if we have, if we do get the rats back, or if we have Lily on a Spectre, like it's just a two-two flyer for two. Is this cube one of every card or some card? No, no cube ever. A cube by definition will never have more than one of the same card. That is not a thing. Uh, red or green creature from controls. Doesn't untap. I, God, I wish I didn't pass the Airborg now. I'm just going to take Corrupt. It's still an option. Knight of Infamy. That's a nice two drop. Uh, Chief Engineer Artifacts have Convoke. 
Dark Steel ingots probably fine actually. Oh, Sands of Delirium came back. That's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just taking the Sands here. Wow, that was one of the cards I wanted. So, not gonna look a gift Sands of Delirium in the mouth. Goblin Grenade and Threaten. Our rats did not come back, unfortunately. Neither did that Urborg that I was hoping for. Elite Arcanist. Four mana for a 1-1. One, one. Exile an instant card from your hand. Copy the exiled card you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Yeah, okay. Well, that's just terrible. Pay two life, sack a swamp, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's fascinating. Nightmare is just a nice, solid horse creature. Again, would be great with Urborg, but... Uh, you know, if we if we have like a mix of like this could be a three three flyer for for six, which is not ideal. Fell War Stone's pretty nice here. Might be better than Locks on Warhammer. Uh, Strand seems pretty powerful. I'm just not uh, sure how many actual basic swamps we're going to end up having. I might just want the Fell War Stone so we can ramp into bigger and better things. Uh, Warhammer does just win games. However, we only have five creatures right now, and one of them can't come into play without bouncing another creature, and one of them is a seven drop, so. Um, let's err on the side of Warhammer. I think it's more powerful than Felwar Stone. Ooh, a time warp. Yeah, that's pretty good. Urborg was in the last pack. I know, that's why I said it didn't come back. That's, that's why I made reference to it not returning. I will take time warp, 100%. Not particularly close in my estimation. Um, Necromantic Summons, put target creature card from your graveyard. Alright, so it's just a reanimate with two extra counters. Um, I like Life Bane Zombie a lot. I like either Adept a lot as well. Did you catch my earlier message? Uh, I did. I could try to help you name it. Uh, I make no guarantees, though. I'm not great at naming decks. Uh, Life Bane Zombie. It's probably just Zombie. It's just a better creature than Adder either Adept. Pharaoh kills a creature that deals you damage. Yeah, I know what Pharaoh does, bro. I play magic professionally. Uh, Frostlings, Zombify is okay. I think I just want Jace's Ingenuity here. I just want to be drawing three cards. I don't really care about a Frostlings. Sun Titan's pretty impressive here. I don't really feel like we're in a position to take a Sun Titan, though. Unfortunately. Why would we mill our own pharaoh with sands? Why would we mill ourselves in limited? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on here. Aviation Pioneer, Assassinate, Ulcerate, Sisse's Ring. Not, not to be confused with uh, the very similar Soul Ring. Almost basically the same card. Uh, ostracize and essence scatter. Hmm. Do you have any kind of? I feel like it's just assassinate here. Essence scatter also very good. Why do you like pioneer? I don't feel like pioneer is great for us. I guess we can bounce it with Quickling, but that's pretty much the extent of it. There's actually... These picks have been taking a while. Um, I kind of like Assassinate. I just think it's the strongest card in here. Sphinx's Tutelage, and we have Sands of Delirium. Oh, we're definitely taking that. We're going to be milling, ladies and gentlemen.
Oh my god, Chad, are you like doing some kind of crazy... Are you doing crazy giveaways? Well, crazy giveaways. I guess we're just taking the one card we can play. But also, we can equip this guy with our two equipments. Thank you. Ewok, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Isn't the giveaway for gifted subs? Like, I, I don't know why the, the subs are doing it. That's weird. They're also not even adding the command, which is very strange. This is a very strange... Uh, This is a very strange giveaway. Giveaway. Uh, I don't know what's going on right now. Depending on archetypes, this varies. What do you think the most powerful cards in this? I have no idea. I literally am one pack into this cube. I actually have no idea right now. Spell Twine. Exile target instant or sorcerer from your graveyard and target instant or sorcerer from your opponent. Copy them, cast them. Copy and cast them. I like Plague Mare for the sideboard. What is this copy? Nothing really great. Plague Mare could kill some things, I guess. I'd hope. Maybe. Uh, I am not two whole packs into this draft. I am within my second pack. I'll take the Plague Mare. Don't care about you or you. Wow, the boomerang came back. That's pretty nice. Yeah, two sands would be great if only I could not just dump all the original mana into sands, the first sands. Sculpting also removes a creature. How does it do that? Why would it why would we want to copy our sands? I mean, this is an X spell. Like, we just, instead of activating two of them, we just activate one. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure Sculpting Steel doesn't ex exile anything. I'm pretty sure you guys are actually just wrong about a great many things today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I guess we could build around March of the Machines. Necromatic Summon is also not terrible. Well, this is a heck of a test. <laughs> I'm like, I, uh, I'm trying to figure out what the pick is, and you guys are like, this card does this, and I'm like, I don't think it does that. It says right on the card what it does. Yeah, but it does this, and I'm like, no, I don't think it does that, man. Yeah, we'll just take Zombify. I'm okay with how this looks so far. Disciple of the Ring? Oh, Gideon Jura. That's actually real strong. Exile an instant or sorcery from your graveyard, then choose one. Counter non creature spell. Tap a creature on tap a creature. Gets plus one, plus one. Uh, I think it's either Mana Leak. I think it's either Manalake or Triskelion. I 
I think Angel is a great card in general, but I don't think it's a great card in Cube. Especially when you're competing with, like, Triskelion or Mana Leak. Thank you. Illusions donate GG's wife with the sub with the gifted Chad Bradbury sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. <laughs> kind of hilarious. I don't think it's Triskelion, right? Do we have any combos with Triskelion? We can bounce it. I think we just want Mana Leak. I think we're just trying to control things so we can get our Sphinx's Tutelage slash Sands of Delirium. Whoa! We did it, boys! Oh, that's pretty good. This pack's also busted. We got a Necrotal, a Counterspell, Sky Diamond. I hope I hope at least one of these cards comes back. I hope this, this, or this comes back. Yeah, we're taking the Grave Titan. That's pretty gas. I mean, we're going to have Mana Leak. I'm not too concerned with the Counterspell. Chad, you are awesome. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, if you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you would draw a card, you draw two cards instead. Huh. Do you like Psy here? Death Touch 1 4. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses life. You have a number of creature cards in your graveyard. Do we have any way to gain life? I don't think so. Not really. I don't think our I don't think we're a side deck. I think it's probably just Gilded Lotus here. Oh, Bone Dragon. Druidic Satchel. Both of those are good. Vampire Nighthawk. Whoa. All right, so five mana. Exile seven other cards from your graveyard return. Like, this card is fine. It's a 5-4 flyer for five, but the odds of you returning are very very slim. Uh, it can be done, but it's not super common. Real top card. If it's a creature, it's a 1-1. One, one. If it's a land, put it on the battlefield. If it's a non-creature, non-land, gain two life. I always loved Druidic Satchel back in the day. I don't think we're a side deck, is what I said. I'm going to take the Vampire Nighthawk, I think. Thank you. Hajigulashi, thank you so much for the resub. Oh, Nicol Bolas. We have Darksteel Ingot and Gilded Lotus to splash for this. That actually seems pretty okay. I don't think... Oh, we got Mind Control, too. Dang. It's got to be Nicol Bolas Planeswalker, though, right? Like, this card's really good in the regular cube, let alone this cube. Yeah, I'm taking this. Mind Control is super strong, but... Uh, Nightmare's Thirst, you gain life. Nope. Crypt Rats. Crypt Rats is great. Languish is probably where we want to be, though. Creatures on ten. Yeah, we're just going to take the Languish here. Wow, Soren Markov. <laughs> That's interesting. That's another fascinating card. Probably just Soren Markov. It's just a really strong Planeswalker. I feel like this cube is going to be a little, little less powered than most other cubes. Uh, and as such, cards like Soren and Nicol Bolas are seem very good. Grave Titan, it's not a phase mom, but it's nice. Nice. I'm probably going to put Lifebane Zombie in the sideboard. We don't have many creatures. I don't think we want two equipment. Probably take sort of the Animus down. Uh, doing a Ravnica draft this Friday. Any tips? I mean, I've done 45 drafts on, on Twitch and YouTube. I feel like that's a good amount of tips. I'm not sure how many more tips I could actually give.
Uh, Corset Cube does not include Power 9. It is 7th edition and up. Oh, a Drowned Catacomb? What does this thing do? 4 4 enters battlefield with opponents with the top 5 cards of the library in the grave. You may cast and insert sorcerer among them without paying its mana cost. That's actually very tempting. It's a very good finisher. Also, Trading Post is very good, too. Pretty sure we just want the land, though. Fixing seems like it's pretty paramount here. We don't really need more playables. Triskelion seems good. I'll oh, take a Triskelion. Oh, the counterspell came back? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Eh, Mark of the Vampire is not terrible. I'll just take the Planeswalker. You guys don't deserve Planeswalkers if you want to pass them this. Okay, the red is clearly open. So this is 24 cards. Maybe we just, we only have eight creatures. We can probably take out the Warhammer as well. Actually, I like this deck looks sweet. Actually, maybe it's Quickling. Yeah, but then we got into seven creatures, and this is even worse, right? Zombify could actually be good. Like, we don't have many creatures, but our creatures are all very good. Make them discard. Getting a Nighthawk back. Getting one of these two, three, three back. Seven creatures is not ideal. Maybe it's fine. Uh, there's probably not Shocklands. I don't think they were ever printed in Corset. Pilot Eater, congrats on your job, buddy. Uh, we got Sanguine Bond. We didn't get Exquisite Blood. Eight. We're going to add one just in case. Seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, we do have boomerang and counter spell. I think I probably want to go up to this. Oh, we get to add one more. That's great news. All right, so I think we could just add a swamp here, right? All right, let's see how this works out for us. I have I have hope. Uh, beta was I mean like beta wasn't a core set. There wasn't really core sets back then. I mean it's, it doesn't matter. This is seventh edition forward. It's not. It doesn't matter whether the beta was a core set or not. Zankar, thank you so much for the for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it. You always run the eight mana do nothing cards you find in draft. What is that? Oh, I see. Oh, it's a little it's a little that doesn't do anything meme. I got gotcha. you. Uh, that's a good one. That's a solid uh That's a classic. I will play first. Like you do. Uh this hand is great.
Oh boy, that's nice. Well, let's see how uh, how relevant this is. Let's see how many cards you can put into your trash can. I like being able to get this down when there's no pressure on board. That's a good feeling. Yep, you got it. One of these has haste, right? Artifact creatures you control have haste. So the little floaty boy has haste. Okay. Ooh. What if we just kill them right here? What if it's just like two red cards, two red cards, two red cards? Oh, wow. <laughs> Sun Titan, Archangel, Fiend Slayer Paladin. Oh, that was gas. That was a good hit. Pretty sure I'm just going to pass here. There's no pressure. We can keep up Languish. I don't want to throw a little Spectre out there. Wow. Sun Titan, Archangel, and Fiend Slayer Paladin. We just hit three white rares. That's pretty good. Sadly, mountains are not red. That is correct. Otherwise, you would probably just win the game on the spot. See, I helped them get this, though. So, we cleared out all these. Uh, RPG Badger, I probably have not yet. I just got back from BlizzCon Monday, so... Hold on one second, I just gotta figure something out. Alright, well, they didn't play anything pre-combat. What are we waiting for? I was doing something. Oh, a cone of flame and a planes. Also, two very good hits. I mean, if they're not going to play anything, and we're at nineteen, I'm just gonna just gonna ride this uh, this Sphinx's tutelage out. Yeah, this is this is this is just better for the language. Might as well block. Get my little skeleton man back. There's a lot of lands, but I guess we have things to do with them now. So, man, Ogre... Ogre Battle Driver? Battle Driver. <laughs> That's just a funny name. <sighs> yeah, all this is fine. We're not super pressured still, so we can actually, if they play something during their main phase, that'd be great, and then we can languish. Languish all the things. Yeah, I, I think I think blocking was probably pretty risky because like the skeleton goes to the graveyard and then you're just like, what do?
Wow, that's rude. They're just throwing all their cards. They know this guy comes right back, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll take six. Sure. Uh, discard a card. What are we going to get rid of? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll get rid of a swamp here. Wow. Heroic Reinforcements. That actually was a card I was afraid of. P and Kieran Nalar and Inferno Titan. Good lord. They have a lot of good stuff here. That I am not thrilled about. Okay, well, there's three more lands. Ooh, Soren Markov. Don't even suggest that they could have hit you in the face with that hammer. I don't need them to help me out with that. I have uh I have uh, hitting myself in the face with hammers under control. Thank you. Kobux, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. Beacon of destruction. It's just five to any target. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three. Can we just sands you here? Like sands through the hourglass. These are the millings of our lives. How was your experience at BlizzCon? It was great. I had a good time. Good times were had by all. Including me. What does that even mean? Still watch your tube content the last few months. I thought sewing would be the least. That is, I appreciate it. That is awesome. That is the most I could hope for. Okay, so I'm gonna take three here, and then I'm gonna mill your entire face, and then you're dead. Unless, of course, you have an Emrakul in your deck, or like an Eldrazi or a Progenitus that shuffles. I have a feeling those would never be seen in a core set, though. So. uh... They're going to concede right here. They know what's going on. They don't want me to see those last seven cards, though. Or maybe they do. Who knows? Oh, they did. They were like, yeah, it's fine. You see whatever you want. Oh, all right. They were like, all right, the last two, though. Those are mine to keep. Could have won last turn if you played Sands earlier. Cool. Oh, Plague Mare seems great here. Lifebane Zombie seems great here. Ostracize seems also very good. Take out the boomerang. Take out the zombify. <laughs> Could have won next turn if I played Sansa turn later. Oh, man. You could have won it on a completely different turn if you built a different deck in the cube and then you played that in the draft and portion instead of the deck you've played now. Oh. Yeah, this is all good info to have. Thanks. Actually, I kind of want to lock some Warhammer in here somewhere. Take a little on a specter, I guess. They call me Cuban Beat. I'm the king of the rumba beat. This is my first draft for this cube, correct. 
That is correct. Correct. I like this uh, six drop hand. That's nice. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to play that because if we play this and then we end up drawing like a uh, double black card, it's not good. If we play this and end up drawing double like a counter spell, it's not good. I don't think we have any double black two drops though. What is this? A 2-1? You can sack it to make a, a, a duder to get two manas to two manas for a creature spell that gains haste. So now they have five mana. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. No, I guess they don't care about that, though. Uh, I always miss the jazz, but unfortunately I cannot play it any longer. <laughs> oh congrats i won my own gift sub that's good times man that's friggin' hilarious wow nailed it finally i can be part of my own subscriber base i really hope they don't have volcanic hammer I don't think they'd wait this long if they had Volcanic Hammer, right? You just kill this guy on the spot. Of course, they could also have, like... They could sack the Generator Servant to play, like, Inferno Titan, which gets haste. That's pretty broken. Please do not gift to sub to me. Please gift it to anyone else but me. Oh, Sword of Vigilance. Vengeance. Sword of Vengeance. Yeah, that's fine. First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, and Hoste. We're one mana away from this. Um, Alright, so this is actually kind of scary. I don't really want to kill myself here. Thank you. However, if we hit any land... We get to go Gilded Lotus, then we get to play Platinum Angel on on the turn where that would be lethal. Do we just like risk it for the biscuit? We can't really do anything else, right? I think we have to, right? Okay, so at the beginning of your upkeep, you choose one. So we, we play this next turn. We wouldn't do anything. If we we want to draw a land, we play Gilded Lotus. Then we have two more turns. One hundred universes of simulation bits. Oh man. I mean, we saw their whole deck. We didn't really see that many ways to deal with a four four flyer. We saw like uh beacon of uh, the the red beacon. That's like the only thing I remember seeing that would actually deal with a four four flyer artifact. The alternative is play this. I think we're just gonna risk it. We could also draw disperse. Uh, they didn't really see her. I mean, I guess they could bring in Disenchant, but they'd also have to have Disenchant. Like, you don't just get to bring in Disenchant. I'm going to actually attack. Uh, reason being that they're going to put this on, like, this guy and attack for four, and we're not going to be able to do anything. So I'd rather them attack for six, and we gain two. Either way, we're, we're losing four life. But at this way, they actually take two points, so. Thank you. Chad, you are awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right, so what are we doing here? Oh, did they like deal us a million? All right. Yeah, let's make them discard two here. I swear if they have like an Infernal Titan in hand, they just chose not to play. Reverberate and Fortify. Wow, Fortify would have definitely killed us. Ugh, oh, that's awkward. I'm just going to kill this guy because if they draw... This this keeps them off of any, like, five or six drops. So we can go draw two Gilded Lotus, and then we have Platinum Angel. And, like... Yep, we'll just take three here. Well, this is interesting because, like, we block here, and it's the same amount of damage. We take five and go to six, but they lose a guy. So it's basically the same as if they just attacked with this guy. Um, We're going to draw two here because... Uh, I'm pretty sure we just died. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sad. We really need to hit a land in the next four cards. Oh, we get to draw one card, though. Hold on. All right, we're alive. <laughs> that's fantastic. Woo, what an emotional roller coaster this is. I can't handle these swings, guys. Oh, this is great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we hit another land next turn, we get to keep up counter spell. Oh boy. Woo! I can't handle it. Oh my god, these swings, dude. Manic Vandal. Um nay also if they drew this and killed this can you imagine now they only attack what Are, another attack with all now I'm just netting life now right yeah I go to four instead of going to three from this guy I'm not gonna choose the lose the game mode. I'm gonna choose kill that guy. Did not hit a land, but that's okay. We can ostr one, two, three, four, six, seven. We can ostracize here. See what their hand is. Yep. All right. This is good. Wow. This match is gas. Platinum Angel and Demonic Pact. That's a thing. That's a thing that we're doing. No blocks. Okay, I will choose lose the game. Oh, I can't. That I can't do that. That can't happen to me. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Now it just sits on the... We can also disperse it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Inferno Titan. Do you even do anything? Not really. Eh, I don't think I even care about this. I guess you kill Vampire Nighthawk, but that's whatever. My life total is not super relevant right now. We could also replay Pact and um, shoot the Inferno Titan and deal four to it with the Pact when that time is uh, relevant. Do we want to deal with this guy? Like, so we, you know, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. We're definitely bouncing packed here, though.
Uh, I'm not sure how we can win next turn. We had a four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we have eleven. We could have. That's true. I don't think I care though. Oh, the old uh, the old chat lethals are coming out of the woodwork now. That's good times. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Uh, I mean, we can still pretty much win. We shoot them for two, we deal them, f we attack for four, and then we just demonic pack them next turn with counterspell mana up. Magic's all about giving your opponent as many turns as you can <laughs> to, to crawl back into the game. Uh, to you. Let's go black and this guy. So they can attack for six. They can shoot this for three. None of it really matters. Uh, Sun Titan came back Manic Vandal. Yeah, that's not going to resolve. That's a that's a big negative for me, and that'll do. That'll do. What's good sportsmanship? I don't understand. Are you saying winning at like the earliest possible convenience is good swordsmanship? I don't think that's true. I think you're able to do whatever you want in Magic. I think you're able to play Magic however you want to play Magic. Doesn't really like. I mean, you also you're not required to see specific lines either way. Like I didn't see the line there because I was I was focused on something else. So, I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with sportsmanship per se. Oh, letting, crawl, letting them crawl back into the game is a good sportsmanship. That I will agree with. Yeah, I'm just trying to be, yeah, I'm just trying to be sporting here. Glad we're on the same side there. That's nice. It's just out of courtesy, you know, like, it, it, we're all trying to have fun, so I just want to give you the most, the, the, the most chance you have at winning this game. Big fan. Big fan has been called. Big fan. I will keep this hand. We know how Sphinx's tutelage, tutelage works, especially with the Jace's ingenuity. That seems like a nice, a nice little combination. Uh, that's what that's what we call things in Magic: The Gathering that play off one another. A combination. I'm gonna play this combination. No one says that. So the person you just played against was me and my two friends. Thanks for the games. The Loman, good games, buddy. I was uh, I was having a good time with Demonic Pact and uh, and Platinum Angel, as you may have noticed. So oh, that's a good that's a good dude. Um. We're just going to Sphinx's tutelage here. They missed a land drop. That's no good. That's no bueno. Or is it the or is it muy bueno? Ooh, I don't know. Hard to tell. Depends on which side of the sportsmanship you're on, I think. Oh, a hoarding dragon. It's always yield to that. I always want to see like 15 cards just fill the bin, which is impossible because they go into the graveyard in increments of two, but you get the point. I'm just going to play this guy. The Loma, good luck in your games too, buddy. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Now we're helping our opponent find lands. I know, right? We're like, let's mill your spells off the deck. See, it's all about sportsmanship here, guys. It's all about sportsmanship. You just want to be kind. Rewind. What does this do? Bounces the thing? That's rude. I, I felt like we were friends up until right there. And now I feel like we're no longer friends, and that's weird. It's weird to have this relationship pulled out from under me. You think you know a guy, and then he bounces your Vampire Nighthawk. 
Oh, Icy Manipulator. I don't really want to play anything. I just want to Jace's Ingenuity. I don't, actually, I don't actually want to do it on their turn because they could have counter spells. I'll do it anyway, though, because I can't imagine doing it on my turn. That just feels terrible. I didn't put these instants in my deck to be playing them on my turn, guys. What do I look like? Some kind of sucker? No? Nothing? All right. All right, here we go. It's going to get countered. However, if we draw a land, we have two six drops if they want to counter this, so I'll deal with it. I'm more excited about the milling than I am the drawing cards. Two. 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 Dang. Two more. <laughs> I prefer you not to mill my lands, please. Well, listen, buddy, I got some bad news for you. Okay, let's play a card. It'll be a land. Let's play this Soren Markovia. Shoot this little gentleman. And we'll get in there. Look, I'm just trying to do you a favor. Okay? Oh, no. Don't do it. That's rude. I thought we were friends. Again, like our friendship is totally ruined. You First you bounce my guy, and then you incinerate my other guy. Exclusion Mage might not be a gentleman, but uh, it's it's more of a gentleman than Reflector Mage. So keep that in mind. That's pretty good. That's probably unbeatable, right? I have 13 cards left in the deck. We're basically seeing most of their deck here, I think. I don't even have anything exciting to do. We can control their turn next turn. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Do I just play Soul of Ravnica? God, that seems... No, I just want to keep up Mana Leak. I don't even care. I can just keep up Mana Leak and then Sphinx's Tutelage. Like, this game is not going to get... We're going to win this game, just to be clear. It's... It's a bold strategy, it's a bold strategy Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Well, I'm not sure if I uh, recommend that. That seems like... Uh... You're just asking. You're just asking for trouble now. Turn three trading post, turn four Vivian Reed seems pretty good. I would advocate for those. Oh, and that's the end. All right. Say we didn't have to show them anything else, which is nice. Wouldn't have been able to play that guy, but nevertheless. All right, what do we see? A bunch of instants and sorceries? Enough so that, like, they have the Jace's Sanctum? Spoken like a parent, it's for your own good. It hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> oh, I think we're just gonna submit like this. I don't know what to add. Like, I don't think we saw we saw a bunch, but we didn't really see much we care about. Life Bane Zombie, obviously not great against the red red blue deck. Same thing with Plague Mare. Gosh, tomorrow Thursday already? That's crazy. Oh, they do have they do have young PZ. I don't know if I care enough about that. We don't have a ton of removal. I'm gonna probably bring in this over the boomerang. Meh. Find your red land. Oh, this hand is great. If we had some lands. All hands are great when you don't have lands. 
because they're all spells. Yeah, this hand's fine. Um, how greedy are we? Yeah, I don't think that's actually that greedy. No wonder Mike never listens to you. Wow, that's rude. That's rude. Oh. Oh, the combos. Oh, this is nice. Turn three Darksteel and get into uh, turn four Demonic Pact. Opponent is my hero. That's, oh, because of what they said. That's pretty funny. Gutter, gutter snoop. I like that we can demonic pack this and uh, watch them counter the disperse, and then we're just like wrecked. Uh, Excellent show. When do they get it back? When it dies, so I can just bounce this guy, and then they don't get it ever. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, I'll take that. Oh boy. Well, it's clearly demonic packed here. Or we can actually... Yeah, we'll demonic packed. One, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta risk it for the biscuit. No guts, no glory. Wow. Okay, well, now we're probably dead. Or we can bounce the Grave Titan. If we can draw a Languish here, we can bounce Grave Titan and Languish. That would be pretty insane, right? All right, so... I think we have to draw two here. Languish. Languish. Sphinx's tutelage. Pretty sure this just kills us. This is not ideal. I'm pretty sure we have to bounce this and assassinate this, and then we just don't care about Icy, I guess. And what do we take? One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to four, but then we do have the... If we bounce this, though, I don't know if we have... Actually, we have Nicol Bolas mana, so we can actually kill this. This game has gone significantly differently. Yeah, Bolas kills Icy, but if they tap Ingot, like, we just have to hope they don't do that, I guess? I don't know. Alright. We do get to kill this guy next turn by dealing four. We can also make them discard. Yeah, it's a cube, so all the packs have multiple rares in them. That's aggressive. Oh, it's because we're dead. Hmm. Reasonable. Reasonable. Okay. So we definitely saw more things this game. One, two, three, four, five. That actually would been good. We would have five. Eh, it doesn't, I don't know if it matters. All right. Well, then. kind of want the boomerang now, especially because... Uh, If they steal something from us, I'd rather be able to bounce that. Triskelion, Corrupt, are any of these okay? I don't know. Mark of the Vampire seems nice to be able to gain some life. Probably better than, like, Zombify. I don't know what we put it on, though. Like, Knight of Infamy? That doesn't seem great. Like, we just don't have a lot of great creatures to put it on. It's probably just better to have Warhammer in the deck. God, 
Bribery is such a stupid magic card. Seven creatures, though. Even Warhammer doesn't seem great. I'm even wondering if Grave Titan is just a liability. Whatever. <sighs> Warhammer it is. I will play first. Yeah, this is actually fine. Languish is nice to have. I mean... Six drop, eight drop is not ideal, but I don't want to go to six here. Languish does a pretty good job of keeping us in the game. Swap to higher red and warp world. Yeah, I don't know if that's the strategy we want to be imploring here. Okay, now we have everything we need. I don't know if there's a one mana card in these sets. I don't know if there's a one mana instant in core sets. One mana blue instant. Okay, that was a good draw. Yeah, we're just going to pass here with Counterspell. We don't have a reason to play Warhammer yet, especially because we don't have any guys. Uh, I don't think Opt was in any core sets. I know Opt, I mean, we can just name cards that exist, but I don't I don't remember Opt being ever in a core set. I'm pretty sure Opt was in Invasion and Ixalan. Oh, all right, well then. If we can just keep hitting lands, I'd be very, very okay. What if I told you we could have biscuits without risking it? I would think you a liar. That doesn't seem accurate at all. Accurate at all. Yeah, that's fine. You're right, I'm bad, it's fine. I, I'm, that's, not, that's not what I'm getting at. Johnny Big Large and Talls, welcome back. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Let's play a Warhammer here. In Biscuit Town, all are welcome at no risk of themselves. Wow. I had no idea. Biscuit Town sounds like quite the place. Uh, come on, bribe me one time. Right now. That's not better. I guess it is better. It's definitely better than bribery. Guild of Lotus. Okay. Um, I'm just going to play Soul of Ravnica here. I think that's fine. It's fine. I'll take down the shields for just a turn. It's not going to be... It's not going to end well. They're going to play bribery and steal our Grave Titan. We're not going to have an answer to it. It's going to be very sad. We're going to have two turns to draw red for our Nicol Bolas. It's not going to happen. We're going to have made a terrible mistake. Okay, that's not bad because we can still activate this. So that's actually perfect. Look at this little guy. This is actually a threat. I mean, we have a blocks and a Warhammer and it can keep coming back. So I'm definitely not equipping this guy when we have Counterspell in hand. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. You're going to kill this guy? Okay.
I would also accept a dark steel ingot at this point. They have seven cards. We have four cards. This also draws us two cards a turn at seven mana, so we can actually keep Counterspell up. If they don't do anything, draw two. It's not bad. I see Manipulator. That feels worth counting. Counting? Countering? Like, if we get a red, we're never going to be able to play uh, Nicol Bolas. We're just going to have to hope they don't have a Counterspell. They did not. And now we're free to do a lot more things. That's one of them. I think we actually just want to time warp here just so we can do more things. Like, I don't want to pass again and give them another chance. I would love to wait till we have Nicol Bolas online, but once we get Nicol Bolas online, I think we're already in good shape, so... If they didn't counter Time Warp, I doubt they're countering Jace's Ingenuity. If they didn't counter a counter spell to keep their Icy Manipulator, I don't think they actually have. Uh, that worked out quite well. Yeah, so even if they get Grave Titan now, we can untap and go Nicol Bolas, get back Grave Titan. I sent you a picture you should share with chat. All right, let's see what's going on here. Wow. Wow. So apparently Mike took a picture of me. I'm going to actually disperse this guy. Because not only does it get rid of the claustrophobia, but it leaves their clone only able to copy a re reassembling skeleton. Which is kind of, uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> cool skeleton. <laughs> oh, that's pretty nice. All right, let's see. I don't think they have a counter spell. Yep. I mean, is they could confiscate Nicol Bolas, but then we got Boomerang, so I'm not terribly concerned with that. Our hand is actually very well positioned for most things they could probably do. We're also at 36 life, which is pretty nice. That's what's known as a healthy life total. It's arguable that we could have actually destroyed, destroyed, destroyed a mountain instead of the Sky Diamond, putting them on one red. I think that would probably been better. All right, this deck's doing quite well. Nicol Bolas in the opening hand, no swamps, but a boomerang. I'm going to ship this hand. Yeah, this is actually better. Any hand with a Sphinx's tutelage on turn three is... I'm going to keep this. It's pretty good. What's going on, Dan Omek?
Uh, did I get your email? I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Oh, I did, Adam. Yes, I did. Uh, thank you for double checking. I'll be responding soon. I was just at BlizzCon this past weekend, so it was. Uh, it's been difficult to get back to everybody. Hey, Saru, not bad. We are two zero currently. Looking for that three zero. Like you do. Also. <laughs> Also, if they, yeah, you know, well, I was hoping for no counter spells, but I was gonna say if they're playing black, it's unlikely that they have a way to deal with a Sphinx's tutelage. Don't mana leak me. This is like our, this is our game. Are they reading it? They're like, what does this card do? Uh, I did zero booing at BlizzCon because that's pretty ridiculous and entitled. And I think it's kind of insulting and kind of embarrassing that people would boo. So. I will block. Yeah, that's fine. Skeleton, come on back. Skeleton friends. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we could draw a discard, but that doesn't seem great. Oh, a Jace Bellerin. That's pretty nice. They really have profitable, profitable attacks. If they attack with both, we block here. If they attack with either one of them, we just block that one. Oh, uh, sorry, Burb. He's got to go, Burb. Oh. All right. Varnak, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate it. It's your boy. All right. So, uh, yeah, I don't. Nothing we can really do here. No, thank you. Are there any enchantments in magic that can be tapped? No, that is not a that's not quality of an enchantment. Uh, the only thing that comes close to that is the um, are the gods from Theros because they are creatures as well. But otherwise, just enchantments by themselves uh, do not tap, and there's no real reason to tap them. Yeah, otherwise, future sight. Right, there are some in future sight, but like the point of that was to showcase 
uh, enchantment designs that were not really things. You know what I mean? That's the that's the whole point. That was the point of Future Sight. Yeah, obviously Whip of Erebos. That goes under the Theros, uh, the Theros umbrella that I mentioned. Where it's like, you know, it's not it's not tapping because it's an enchantment. It's a, it's an artifact. So. And then our opponent left. One time, my opponent just said BRB fire. <laughs> yep, gotta go. House is on fire. I think that actually, something similar actually happened to me once. I have no idea what it, I can't remember it now, but I do remember something like that happening. I think it was probably in a video even. Also worth noting that uh, Jeff Sessions just resigned. So that's, that's pretty, pretty fascinating. Yes, in quotes. Not to be that guy, but where is your co-host, the red-headed? Uh, I, I I don't know. If he's not with me, I don't get to. I don't. I can't really tell you where he is because that's not my. It's not my job of knowing. So way to be that guy, Dan. Way to be that guy. Uh, resigned in White House speak means forced out. <laughs> that's literally what it means. It means I'm firing you and asking you to be uh, to choose, to choose to be fired. So, that's cool. Pretty sure not one person from the original administration is still there, but, you know. What can you do? The best people. Anyway. The Exactly, Alan. That's exactly, that's exactly what I said. Uh, that's a good times. Alright, how are we doing today, oh, guys? That's not what I wanted. Like... I, uh, I clicked on a link and it was actually a video. Well, that's not what we want. This is the worst part about uh, about streaming a game like Magic Online. It's just because like, if this happens, if your opponent has to go do something, they get up to 10 minutes. BBC is probably reporting it as fired because that's literally the same. It's basically the same thing. Resigning is literally getting fired, but letting you keep uh, your your um save face it's letting you save face your dignity correct um not sure how much is left there but Yeah, I think, you know, I mean, like like I said, I think forced out, fired, and resigned are all synonymous in this situation. I, I don't think there's any real distinction there. I think it's all pretty much the same. Good times. It's good to everyone that works for the one who has never written a letter of resignation on being hired. <laughs> haven't even watched most recently, but loving the YouTube, been watching a YouTube, love the Prost, Prost video. I haven't laughed as hard as I did. It's not a phase. Yeah, neither have I. I lost it, man. That was such a classic, like, man, that was just great. 
Because I can hear it. It's it's it was so real. Because I could like hear it in my head. I can hear the high school kid being like, "It's not a phase, mom. This is how I. This is just who I am. You don't know me." Bigfoot. I'm pretty sure that gift sub was from Trojan Rage. Uh, I think that was earlier in this stream. You might have missed it. All right, we are back. I don't really for if this was six mana draw a card I'd be on board but as it stands I'm fine with this what up James oh draw three then discard I'm trying to mill you I did get the new green screen mask um, it is right here Oh, this is a good draw. I'm I'm game for this. Zombify. And we just milled like 900 cards, claustrophobia uh, and uh, I'll I'll uh Oh, I guess the game's just over. That'll do, I guess. Not a big fan of Zombify in our deck, unfortunately. Um Life Band Zombie doesn't seem good, Plague Mare doesn't seem good. Ostracize could be decent. I'm so glad I went on Twitch instead of taking a nap. You and me both, buddy. If I do one of these jobbies, I just disappear. Hold on, let's see if I can make myself disappear. Can you adjust your left cheek? Your Didn't you say this yesterday? Someone said this yesterday, and I was like, you'll be all right. This is all thanks to Kerwit. Kerwit's magic. Uh, Kerwit sent us this uh, from Amazon, so that's good stuff. He originally sent this one, which is significantly, it's a lighter green, so it doesn't actually, uh, I'd have to adjust the chroma key or add another one or what have you, but this one is like chef's kiss over here. Asymmetrical cheeks. <laughs> oh, I'm also tempted to cut two holes in the back. And then just wear it backwards and just have eye holes. Because that seems terrifying. And then I could just be two floating eyes. Seems fine. Guys, can you not talk about my asymmetrical cheeks? It's a real issue and I'm not comfortable about it. You don't look different, but you have changed. I do not have a green shirt, unfortunately. It's very weird. It creeps me out just looking at it. This hand is definitely great. You can turn one ostracize into turn three tutelage. Disapprove. <laughs> Guess. It's unsettling and comforting at the same time. I'm going to ostracize you. I don't know what you have, but uh, got them rats and them gnomes. Opportunity zombify. I want to land? Yeah, let's take the rats. I 
That was a good. That was a good one. A good one, if you will. So you played this. Oh, you drew a land, so now you're gonna bottle gnomes, I bet. Oof. It's your boy. Man, Sphinx's Tutelage has been MVP this this draft. I am very okay with it. Do you think they mulligan so that they wouldn't get milled? They're just like, I'm gonna go to six cards, just keep more cards in the library. This is the same thing you did last game. George is getting upset. Disciple and a Doom Blade. Okay. Well, I'm not going to play either of these, so I guess we're just passing. We'll take three. Eventually, we can soar in Markov, which kills this guy pretty handily. And we know they have Zombify and Opportunity in hand. And then whatever they draw here, they drew Knight and Swamp. Okay, so another two cards in hand. Both of them are relatively blank, all things considered. You could just attack with this guy. Liliana of the Dark Realm and an Aviation Pioneer. Two cards you can actually play there, so that's good. Is traps? I don't even know what that means. Is that like some kind of hip kid lingo? I don't understand. Yep, no blocks. Oh, James, I think I know who you are now. <laughs> uh, flight was good. I had no problems with my flight. Except for the fact that I was exhausted. So we know your hand is Opportunity Zombify and one other card. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit here. I'll take a turn off. You literally have to draw Counterspell here. It's got to be exactly Counterspell. Is it Counterspell? It's not Counterspell. Boop this guy. Nice. Do you do any RPGs? I don't have any problem with RPGs. I just don't do any Thank RPGs. You. Tower Geist. Look at the top two cards. Put one in your hand, right? The other into the graveyard. Okay. Chad, thank you again. Really appreciate the sub support, if you will. Oh, that's good. I'm probably going to use that support. That's nice. Okay, Soren Markov is actually just killing it here. If we can draw one mountain off the top, I think we're in go town. I said risk it for the biscuit to my wife the other day while looking for parking and she lost it. That is the correct response. Well done. Well done. She lost the biscuit? <laughs> she needs to She needs to get the biscuit back. Are we going to 3-0 our first Corset Cube draft? The answer is yes. So now you have Opportunity and Zombify in hand. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we're in a position where we can easily bounce our Vampire Nighthawk. Oh, this is target player draws four cards? That's fascinating. I think you can actually mill us faster, so I'm going to counter this guy. Mountain? Oh, that was good. That's good. Well, we know you can't deal with this guy, so that's good. We 
<laughs> I'm watching, so probably no. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. Are they going to zombify the... Oh, sign in blood. Augury owl. Okay, all of these are fine. Not super impressive, but fine. Oh, that's probably going to win us the game, I imagine. I'm going to control their next turn. And that'll do. All right. <laughs> Grave Titan into Mind Slaver your turn. Seems good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just ending the YouTube video. If you're on YouTube, feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons to support the content. You can also check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off your first order, as well as free returns and free shipping. And they're super, super comfortable. No joke. Uh, they also have onesies, which are pretty sweet. And they should have uh, Star Wars items back in stock now if that interests you so definitely do that if you're if you're in the market for that anyway it's a great way to support the stream as well as subscribing or patroning and what have you thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time